Hello, Mioni here and welcome to a guide for the second boss of the Omega Delta Scape on normal mode difficulty. This is Catastrophe, a blob of tentacles and happiness. This grey blob face will pose no threat to you and yours if you follow these broken down boss tips. Tanks will need to put this boss halfway towards the edge of the platform, giving ranged and healers plenty of room to stand in the middle of the platform, making it easier to move to avoid abilities. You will see on your screen there's an extra action button in the center, this is the anti-gravity gimbal button. This clicky button makes your character float above the ground when you click it, so you guessed it, some of the boss's abilities make a mess on the floor that you will need to float above. Specifically, anti-light. This is the main name for a series of different colored orbs that can appear. These orbs, either gold or purple, or both at the same time, emit AoEs around them. There is always a safe place to be in the room. If the purple orbs are up on their own, then we press the anti-gravity button to avoid damage on the floor. If the yellow ones are up, then we stay down on the floor and don't press the button. Sometimes you deal with yellow in the air and purple on the ground beneath you. For this, you'll need to wait for the yellow orbs to disappear and then press the button. Failure to do so quickly enough will kill you. Sometimes times by suffocating you inside the purple floor. The boss also has an ability known as the Demon Eye. This is a simple look away mechanic with an eye symbol. If you stare at him DPSing and don't turn away in time, you will be petrified putting you out of a fight temporarily. Another mechanic is Epicenter. Epicenter is a large scale AoE ability that cannot be avoided that will need to be healed through by your healers with AoE abilities. Periodically throughout the fight, four tentacles will spawn around the room. These things have eyes on the ends of uh, their like stalk tentacle things. A few seconds later, only three of them will have eyes on them. The fourth tentacle, the one with no eye, will then be where your group will need to run to to avoid a very painful series of AoEs that are about to erupt. These AoEs overlap, so it's best to be behind the tentacle closest to the arena wall to fully negate any chance of being hit by it. Later, we get the orbs back again, it's time for purple and yellow together. This makes only one or two safe zones to stand in. Sometimes it will be at the sides of a room where no orb touches, and other times it will be directly in the center on the floor. So make sure you look before you leap, so to speak, and make sure you move accordingly. And that is literally Deltascape version 2 and Catastrophe in a tentacle-covered nutshell. Hopefully you enjoyed this bite-sized video guide. There are many others for the dungeons and previous raids in Stormblood, along with Glamour, Gathering, Mounts, Minions, you name it. I try to do a range of content on the channel for Final Fantasy XIV at the moment and put out videos daily. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.